Bokamakta Farming Simulator and a random little video inspired by some posts that I have seen on Facebook about people having problems with animals and animal placeables. So uh, I'm on one of my Let's Play saves. This is on Attingham Park because it is a map that has examples of animals that need water and animals that don't need water. Um, so if we go over to the trigger, which is somewhere here, um, you will see that all of the animals say, additionally, they require water. Um, but if I go in to the animals menu, you will see there is no bar for water. And what that means is that the water is automated so somewhere in the uh, field and i believe it is over here um there is a water trough um right here but as you can see at the end here it's got a, an automated thing to keep it full so you don't have to worry about filling the water for the cows yes they need water but the game keeps it automatically for you do get charged for the water that they drink but you don't have to worry about filling it up and in fact i don't think you can fill it up yourself at all um uh, this applies for uh, pc and console and uh, this save is a pc only save because i have maze plus running but this element of it is not related at all to maze plus this is a base game feature so our cows here although in the menu it says they need water the water is taken care of automatically um, if we head over to the sheep it is a different situation and if you have been watching my let's play you will realize that i thought the sheep were being watered automatically too but it turns out that is not the case so again if we go out and i think the animal trigger is somewhere here you'll see that it says additionally they require water so most of the animals will say that if we go into the menu though the difference is you will see there is a water bar which is empty because i had assumed they were being watered automatically and that was not the case so we'll see here we have a we also at the water point we have an icon for water actually i should have shown you that over at the cow shed so let me just jump back to the map i've got in the habit of playing with the interactive markers off because it looks slightly nicer but you can see here the water trough here there is no trigger marker um, so that also gives you the uh, the indication that things are different. Uh, and if we now spin around with my trailer full of water, um, hopefully we can give the sheep some water. And the trigger might be actually be inside the field by the looks of it. I uh, I should have prepped this video slightly better, but I uh, I knew what I wanted to talk about, so I decided to wing it. And uh, it appears that the game the uh, the farming simulator gods have been cruel to me and uh, put the trigger where I wasn't expecting it. Um, I should have maybe expected it because I think the food trigger is in the same place. So yeah, uh, let's just head in here and hopefully we'll get a trigger pop up that we can uh, put some water in with because otherwise this would be mighty embarrassing. There we go. Um, so we can put water in and we'll see now that the bar for the sheep's water has filled up. So, and the question that, that prompted this is um, seeing people ask quite frequently on Facebook, where do I put the water on map, whatever. Um, and quite often the answer is actually the watering is automated and you don't need to worry so things to look for a interactive marker like that one um but the real real test is if there is a bar for water so our sheep here have a bar our cows do not our pig shed does not either so yeah that's how you tell that one um yeah i, I hope this actually helps some people um, if you see people asking the question on Facebook, maybe share this video or on Discord because um, that's good for me and it helps them understand what they need to do. Um, if you enjoyed this, click the like button. Uh, 
got a comment question stick it below and if you're new to the channel and this kind of stuff interests you then think about subscribing and turning on notifications and also i want to say a quick thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members for supporting the channel appreciate you all and i will see you next time